everybody so welcome to my channel if this is your first time visiting make sure that you go check out my vlogs that i posted a couple weeks ago and a couple months back um if you are returning thank you thank you thank you so much for coming back and viewing my video make sure that you like comment and subscribe as i have more content coming this year the purpose of this video is pretty much just to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to make 2019 your best year yet how i plan on making 2019 my best year and just things that i found that have worked really really well for me in 2018 that might be a little bit beneficial to you so if you're interested and you want to learn more stay tuned 2018 was awesome but i've learned so much in that year that i feel like i am just going to kill this year and these may be things that you're already practicing or things that you tried before that maybe didn't work that you might need to revisit so i'm just gonna go down my list that i have here and i'll let you guys know um, what tips and tricks i think will work for you and tips and tricks that i definitely plan on implementing so pretty much i know it sounds so cliche but everyone says this and it's the number one tip that i can give you and it's to stop procrastinating so pretty much that's why I started my YouTube like just a small backstory I've said that I was gonna start YouTube for probably four or five years now and I've been procrastinating one of my main goals is to get out of the spirit of procrastination and make sure that I am tackling everything that I set out to do it is so easy to say oh well I'll get to that later or, oh I'll you know I have time in the day or maybe I could do that tomorrow I'm off tomorrow as well which I find myself guilty of doing all the time do not do that don't get caught up in putting off what you can do today until tomorrow because honestly that's how you get far behind next thing you know you have something else that came up or you want to go somewhere and visit some friends or you have a dinner or a party to attend and the one thing the one little small thing that you could have done earlier the day before when you were going to do it initially you've put off and now you got a boatload of stuff to do so just don't procrastinate if it's something so small go ahead and do it if it's a larger task make sure that you set time you like sit down and really set a time to accomplish that within the day if it's something that's going to take maybe a couple of days or a couple of weeks make sure that you have that at the top of your agenda and you're getting it done do not wait because that's only going to jack you up and next thing you know it'll be months or weeks down the line and that thing that you could have had done ahead of time is still lingering it's still haunting you because you didn't just knock it out the way in the first place so that's tip number one Tip number two is something that I'm working on and I'm already seeing a change. I've been implementing it over the past two weeks and that is staying organized. So I am one of those people who like to organize. I like to schedule. I like to plan. I like to do all of that. But then there are days where I am really lackadaisical and I don't stick to my schedules and I don't stick to what I planned and I put things in places that they don't belong and I just get kind of lazy just like anyone else but honestly staying organized is the best thing that you can do like I said I've been implementing this tip over the past two weeks and I've noticed a drastic turnaround in just how my year is going and how my productivity is going this year I'm a lot more productive than I was last year and I'm getting a lot of things done so one of the biggest things I can say is you should definitely have a planner this is my planner that I'm using and it's a 2018 2019 edition I bought this last year when I um, enrolled in school for another semester so pretty much I just keep track of everything but this is how I have my planner set up and I pretty much just have it with everything that I need to do. So if I have a dental appointment, if I plan on going to the gym, if I have a rest day, if I need to film a video, anything like that, I put on my calendar and I go ahead and I look at it periodically. I carry this in my book bag with me every day so that if I need to add something new to it, I can. And it just helps me by actually writing down what needs to be done or what I have planned and then I can go back and look at it and really stick to it because you're moving you're busy if you're anything like me you're busy a lot of the times and it's so easy to forget 
small things so make sure that you put it in a planner it really really helps you stay organized and like I said I've noticed it's made a big change as far as my productivity because I get a lot more done the next thing I did which is like I said I have slight OCD you don't have to do this but it's working for me and I really really like it so I watched a video about a week ago on block schedules and if you don't know what that is feel free to just YouTube it there are tons of videos tons of methods if I can find the one that I watched in particular I'll go ahead and I'll link it down below but for me this is what it looks like it's just this little paper and, and I carry it inside of my planner and pretty much um, the concept is you just set blocks throughout your day Kind of like how you would if you were in high school, how you went to first period, second period, third period, fourth period, throughout the day. Um, and you operate in blocks. So for my first block, my first block is the morning time. And for me, because I work night shift, morning time is actually in the afternoon. So that starts from 3 to 5 p.m. And then just in my block, I have it to where it's like, okay, what are the things that I need to get done within those two hours? So I need to wake up for work. I need to make my bed. I like to say a prayer or devotional, get myself ready for the day. I like to check my phone, check the mail, get dressed, eat breakfast, talk to my boyfriend. I actually scheduled that in and it may sound so funny because it's like, well, why would you need to put that on there? But honestly, putting these small things on this black schedule helps me stay on track and it reminds me like, hey, these are all the things you need to do. Do not forget to do this. Um, organizing my room and then attending any like appointments or whatever I need to do in the morning and then I have it like that for the rest of the day for like my outing times when I'm out of the house after I've left for work what do I need to get done once I get to work night time which is technically the morning for me like I said I work night shift so what do I need to do when I get back home from work okay I'm leaving the gym I need to go home I need to shower I need to get my meals ready I need to pack my gym bag things like that and then of course scheduling sleep time which is on here as well but it may sound so funny coming from me but if you watch the video it goes a lot more in depth and making a block schedule just really helps to keep me on track stay as organized as you can and I assure you it'll help your year go a lot better the next tip which is the third tip I have for you is to set detailed goals so a lot of times we start off the year and we say like oh I want to do this or oh I want to do that or oh this is my goal for this year I'm not a big fan of resolutions or anything like that because I feel like people don't stick to them but for me personally I do set goals for myself there are things that I want to get done throughout the year um, and I think that that's very important that you do that as well so pretty much when I say set detailed goals I found what works for me and it may just work for you is to actually write down your goals so that you don't forget them. It's so easy to say, oh, I wanna do this, 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 and that throughout the year. And then next thing you know, a month or two down the line, you've forgotten all about what you said you initially wanted to do. So for me, I personally carry around a little notebook along with my planner and my block schedule. And I just write down the goals according to each month. So that last week of each month, I take my notebook here and this is what mine looks like and it just says January 2019 and there is a bunch of goals on here that I want to get accomplished and then as soon as I accomplish one I go ahead and I scribble it out so that I make sure that I'm actually staying on track and it helps me feel really really good to see that I am getting stuff accomplished I guess it's just the visual and it plays with your mental because okay you know that you're accomplishing things that's fine but once you actually look at this paper, all of these goals that I have on here and I see squiggle after squiggle after squiggle, that makes me feel really good. Like, wow, I am doing what I set out to do. And this is just the goals that I have for January. Like I said, at the end of the month, the last week, I'll set up, I'll sit down and I'll go ahead and write what I want to do for February as well. The next page that I have following this is just pretty much what I have found that kind of like helps me achieve those goals so if I had a goal on here where I needed to contact the education center to go ahead and purchase study materials for my registry that I want to take I wrote down the hours that the education center was open I went ahead and got the phone number to the education center and then that way I know okay 
to accomplish this goal all I have to do is call this number and these are the hours they're open like I said I do work night shift so everything isn't open and it's not as easy for me to call and contact by the time I do wake up in the day but now that I have this information I know okay the next off day or the next Monday that comes around hey I can contact this establishment wake up a little bit earlier I need to make this phone call really quickly so that helps a lot but yeah just writing your goals down make sure that they're as detailed as possible don't be vague like hey I want to get fit well why don't you write down hey I want to get fit so I want to develop a healthy eating plan or hey I want to get fit by June or hey I want to lose five pounds a month hey this is what I want to do just be a little bit more specific don't be as vague because then that'll help you really key in and attack the goals that you set out to do the last tip that I have for you is to pretty much just don't give up on yourself it is so easy and we don't realize that we do it all the time throughout the year you set out for a goal that you may have had and next thing you know you don't do it for me personally that goal was eating healthy I would set out and I would do it for maybe like a month or two or three months I would eat really really clean and then next thing you know oh hey here's pizza here's chicken wings and then I've spiraled and I'm not eating healthy anymore it is so easy to give up on yourself and a lot of people don't realize that that's what you're doing when you're not staying disciplined do not give up on yourself don't make sure that you hold yourself accountable nobody else is going to do it but you make sure that you're really going hard to attack your goals putting your best foot forward i'm not giving up on myself this year i've done it before i've done it plenty of times where i said okay this is what i want to do i want to take this test or i want to you know go ahead and start studying for this or hey i want to get really really fit and look like this and started studying started working out started eating healthy and then months down the line quit and now I'm still sitting here not having that goal accomplished because I I gave up I was like oh okay well no I can do that later oh I'm, I'm fine how I am I, I don't really I don't really care about that that's okay oh I just want to eat these wings right now I just want to do this don't do that do not a quote that I'll leave you guys with that has really stuck with me it's from Tierra Goes Green on Instagram you guys should really follow her page I love everything that she posts I love all of her lives and all of the products that she sells which I am a avid consumer of so go ahead and check her out I'll leave her information in the description box or I'll actually just like put her on the screen but pretty much she says all the time you look like what you do consistently and I just feel like that's so blatant you look like what you do consistently not some of the time so if I want to be fit if I'm not working out I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look like that it's really that simple like oh you you go to the gym some of the time well you you gonna look like you go to the gym some of the time you only eat healthy every blue moon so you only eat healthy some of the time well you're gonna look like you only eat healthy some of the time you want to learn a skill or a trade but you don't practice or you only practice every once in a while well when you get out there to do whatever it is you're trying to do you're going to look like you only practice or you only have studied half of the time or some of the time so you want to look like especially me i'm speaking for myself i want to look like i do these things consistently and that is a big 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 part of this year that's something that's really stuck with me I want to look like I love myself consistently. I want to look like I take care of myself consistently. I'm not giving up on myself. I want to look like I work hard every day consistently, whether it be um, in my finances, in my health, and whatever it is, I want to look like I've been doing that consistently. And I really, really, really love that quote, and I wanted to share that with you guys. But yeah, those are my tips that I have to make in 2019 your best year yet. So just a recap, it is to stop procrastinating. Don't put off what you can do today until tomorrow. It's to stay organized, whether that be to get planners, folders, um, just writing reminders on your cell phone, utilizing the block schedule, whatever it is you have to do. Make sure you stay organized. Just pick up after yourself, stay clean, 
it'll really really make you feel better honestly a clean room and just waking up every day being able to get to the things I need to get to help me function at a higher level of productivity like I said I want to be really productive this year those are things that just help keep my mental space very very clear and helps keep me focused so that might help you the third one was to go ahead and write down your goals be really really specific with yourself set goals that are actually attainable make sure that they are smart goals if you don't know what that is go ahead and look that up you should be able to set a time for yourself to achieve these goals and then if you want to like I do write them down in a book and just go ahead and cross them off it'll make you feel really really good to actually visualize and see that you are crushing your goals it makes me feel great and then lastly don't give up on yourself whatever you do don't let go of your goals make sure that you are actually doing them and getting them done getting them out the way don't give up on yourself it's so easy and we do it all the time oh I'll get to that later oh maybe I'll try that again in a couple months don't do it stick to it stay disciplined make sure that you're putting yourself first and really really caring about yourself this year so I hope that these tips were helpful feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think um, and then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.